Alright, I'm back! Um, my friend Alex likes this one and I had a ton of requests for this. Thank you guys for all of your feedback and, uh, and everything. Uh, this is for those of you who want to try the latest flavor of Ubuntu but absolutely hate Unity and GNOME 3. Just as much as I hate it, I think. It's Zubuntu time today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. So, you don't like GNOME 3? A lot of people don't. We're looking at this pretty cool uh, rendition of Ubuntu 11.10, and this is Zubuntu, of course. And uh, I actually like how this looks. If you move your mouse to the bottom of the screen, you're going to see that you have a nice little panel here where you can access some programs. You can access your desktop. You can uh, get to the web, mail. You got a terminal emulator, a settings manager, application finder, the Ubuntu software center, Abbey Word. You get the G Music browser, the GIMP. And then of course to your uh, home folder, and then the trash. Okay, and then uh, your standard icons up at the top. You can, um, you click your name and of course you can um, lock the screen, suspend, hibernate, reboot, shut down, log out. You've got two desktops to choose from, but you can make as many as you want to theoretically here. Okay, you got the date, you got your uh, internet connection, mail, uh, shortcut volume, and then a battery meter if you're using a laptop like I'm using. All right, let's see what else you get with this. All right, and of course a quick launch to the web browser mail reader settings you configure all your settings for xfce that's what this is using nice lightweight and uh, it's great for older computers that sort of thing doesn't have the high system requirements um, accessories run a program application finder archive manager calculator catfish for searching files character map file manager leaf pad that's like uh, g edit in gnome notes onboard settings Orange Global Time, Screenshot, Terminal Emulator, and XF Burn. Very nice, lightweight CD DVD burning application in games. You get Isle Rock, Solitaire, Free Cell, Mahjong, Mines, Quadrupacel, and Sudoku. In graphics, you get a document viewer, The Gimp, G Thumb. Uh, Restretto Photo Viewer and Simple Scan. In internet, you get Firefox, Pigeon. A remote desktop viewer, Thunderbird Mail Transmission, I, XChat IRC. And multimedia, you get the G Music Browser Mixer, Parole, which is a really cool lightweight uh, media player, and uh, XF Burn. I said that already. Hmm. They put that in a few different menus there. In Office, you get Abbey Word, Dictionary, GNU Metric, Orange Calendar, and Orange Global Time. In System, you get Gigolo. I'm just a Gigolo, and everywhere I go. Oh, never mind. I never said I could sing. Okay. iBus, Printing, Startup Disk Creator, Synaptic Package Manager, Task Manager, Time and Date, Update Manager, Users and Groups. Very important if you're going to install a virtual box on this thing. Okay. The Ubuntu Software Center Help About XFCE. Let's see what version this is running here. And we have version 4.0. Now, my experience in the past with this is that if you want to do uh, compositing effects, effects and bloat this a little bit, uh, Compiz will work with XFCE. All in all, a very nice, lightweight distribution comes fully loaded with most applications that you would need. However, I think it would be better if it already came with 
LibreOffice or OpenOffice pre-installed on this. But those items can be easily retrieved from the package managers. All in all, a nice system. I highly recommend this if you do not like the GNOME 3 interface or if you just have an older computer that you want to have a nice operating system running on. Um, very nice Linux distribution indeed. If you thought this was useful, please hit like and subscribe. Also catch me on Facebook and Twitter. I have more goodies headed your way today. Uh, it's only 9 a.m. and I've still got tons of work to do, so stick around. Thank you.